afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the first Barely Necessities of 2023. I'm Rebecca Mosley, the co-founder of Laughing Place, and with me is our site manager, the one who keeps us all very busy with all the various items that she brings to us to read and to learn all about stuff and happening in the Disney company. That's Rebecca Burbank. Hey, Hi. Rebecca. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing really really well we have such a huge list of items uh, because yes. like the beginning of the year we've got some stuff we're transitioning right so i don't know how are you are you as excited as i am to dive into this list i am this was it, we were talking before the show and this was such a hard list for me to decide what to actually feature and what to put in the shopping list so yeah let's get to it up oh, geo's asking how bad is his wallet gonna hurt nikki's working on a wish list and uh charles pointing out that uh, happy centennial no. and so with that in mind the first item we're going to show is kind of reaching back into that uh vault yeah what a way for shop disney to just not say anything i i got on to shop disney yesterday morning and i was like you are kidding me there's an oswald new emo <laughs> And I thought for sure it's sold out by the time I write this. Nope. And it's still available last Yay. I checked. So he might be joining my family. I, I haven't decided oh, yet, but uh, so, cute. so cute. I love how, he, I love how this looks. This translated really well to the new emo uh, style of, of plush, posable it, plush. It did. And my, and I was thinking, and when this hit, I was thinking that all I feel a little sorry for all of those people who over the years thought, you know what, I'll be an Oswald collector because there's not a lot of that out there. <laughs> That's, you know, something on the back burner of the Disney company. I won't get trapped in too many items. Oh, no, get ready, because it yeah. seems like it's just happening. Um, also, with this announcement, we've seen a few uh, springtime fashions arriving for our new emo, Becca. Yes, and some Valentine's looks, too. Really, really cute outfits. I'm always impressed with the new emo clothing and accessories. I just, yeah, I, it's it's a dangerous thing because I know once I purchase it, I'm <laughs> I'm not going to be able to stop. <laughs> is this P? Do you think this is for Peter? Is that yes, what that's for? I think that's okay. Tinkerbell. I think that's supposed to be Peter Pan. And then it, there's one gotcha. that they just said it was like purple, but I think it's supposed to be. That's oh. that's got to be Pascal. That's got to be Rapunzel. Okay, so we're doing so we're doing a little cosplay or oh, Disney yeah. bounding with yeah. our with our new emo with our new emo looks. That's nice. Uh, Geo over here saying still debating. Yes. Big Haven. Yeah, good luck with that, Geo. Which brings us to the next seasonal event on the calendar, and that is Valentine's and Shop Disney's already showcasing items uh, to get you ready for that. I know, like this uh, Carl and Ellie plush set, which I think is so cute. I love that they're in a little heart box too, <laughs> right? Super sweet. I like the gingham on uh, on yeah. Ellie there. And the way that they've got her eyes so that she's looking right over at, at Carl, who uh, it's very, very sweet uh, dynamic there with the plush couple. Yeah, and I like that they went with the younger version of them. Mm -hmm. So we're so used to seeing Carl as Mr. Fredrickson, as as an older gentleman, and we even get a little bit of Ellie as an older as an older lady. But uh, this is this is perfect. This is like their love story in its prime, right? <laughs> yes. And okay, so this spirit jersey, <laughs> right? We've got the Millennium Falcon kind of you know in a heart shaped um, form, and on the back it has that famous phrase. I know. What do you think? I mean, oh, and it's repeated. It's like four or five times along the back. What yeah. Are your thoughts, Becca? I I love Han and Leia. I they're my favorite Star Wars couple, if you will. I but this whole like it was cute the first few times you saw it, and now I'm just like everybody is like, oh hey, I love you, I know. It's like no, I gotta swap those pictures around. I realize I have them backwards now. <laughs> I, I think I no, I think it was one of those things where it's like, yeah, you <laughs> drop them in there in the right order, but depends on where where the yeah. I didn't oh, even realize, <laughs> but yeah, I'm a little I'm a little bit over the uh, the. Han and Leia, I love you, I know, Valentine's merchandise. 
That said, oh. Kyle was like, should we get matching jer spirit jerseys? I'm like, no. <laughs> but if he got them, I would totally wear them. So. Oh, I see, know. Doobie takes it this a sweet way. There you go. I know. I love you. <laughs> I went, I went Geo on this particular one um, as far as the spirit jersey itself. The I know, I know, I know, I know just kind of written repetitively on the back of it it doesn't ring as sweet as the you know the moment in the in the in the movie itself did so well i, I think know. you that, also have because that spirit jersey is such a huge canvas you're like just to have it in one spot on the very back seems weird so it's like you gotta keep repeating this but you don't want to put star wars on the back and you don't want to put the face it's just yeah, maybe. Maybe just skip it when but, it comes to spirit yeah. jerseys. Or, yeah. You know, maybe it's not this, this this thing. But I did find this a super sweet, very I simple. It it's a Mickey wreath. Uh, did it grab you too? Because it just yes. popped right off the page for me. Yeah, I, I love the, I think the, the ribbon. I think it's the pink ribbon mm -hmm. and that perfect, the perfect green color too, right? Yes, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, no, it's uh, really caught my eye. And it, it kind of made me think about how fun it would be to do and I'm not even sure if it's possible, but to do it with eucalyptus um, oh, branch, yeah. branches, because that's kind of what popped into my head when I saw it. And I saw some eucalyptus at the uh, Trader Joe's today when I went and did some shopping. Oh, there um, there's this beaded headband with very pastel springtime mm -hmm. kind of Eastery colors. Yeah, I think it's I think it's cute. Not something that I would wear, but I could see if you're perhaps a young couple, this is, you know, that perfect price range for a gift for someone who's a, who's a Disney fan, or happens to really love the color the blue and purple colors, like it, you know, it, it could be a very sweet gesture. And they've got another sparkle mini backpack, this time in a rose gold with mm -hmm. a polka dots on the inside. And then Becca also gathered up a few, um, jewelry items as well uh, that uh, mini bow and ring and once again this will be in a link below yes. but this is a uh, roundup that becca's done of the shop disney valentine's day kind of romance springtime items that have uh, debuted on uh, shop disney over let's see next up we've got some fuzzy fuzzy spirit jerseys as yeah if you thought spirit jerseys were going away they brought us a new style i know and we were just we were briefly talking about this last week um how much we we were looking forward to the sully spirit jersey and it's here i just can't tell if the inside like you were saying you hoped it's fuzzy on the inside not we right. have no idea if it actually is or not but um i love the front i don't love the rawr on the back but I don't know what you would do. James P. Sullivan. Okay. Okay. What? Maybe, oh man, maybe it would just be fun if they could have just kept the fuzzy all the way at the back. Like, right. but I know that's the spirit jersey thing is to have something really enormous on, on, on the back. Hey, Doobie, if I pick this up for you, are you going to um, uh, wear it? Because I, I think it'd be kind of cute. I love what they did with the hoodie for kids. Yeah. They've yeah. got the horns. They've got the claws. I know. I'm like, why do the kids get the better merchandise? Sometimes it's that's not the case, but sometimes <laughs> I'm like, I would totally wear that as an adult. Actually, I think we have a Stella Lou hoodie from Tokyo uh, from Tokyo Disneyland, and it's got ears on the hood, and there's like little paws prints that for the pockets, and it's like, yeah, it's an adult size hoodie, like. Let's do this for the adults. <laughs> there you go. I like your husband's idea of putting uh, Monsters Incorporated on the back instead. That works. I, I, yeah, I, I love I love that notion. And uh, mine says he'll wear it um, oh. with um, pink pants. We, we were just I was discussing the other day buying him some pink pants. Well, we're gonna need we're gonna need a model then on the show. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna have to do that. <laughs> they even have a plush mug. Yeah, I thought it? this was interesting and lots of all the characters to go with. But I guess his face probably is the best for for a wraparound mug. Hey, for those of you watching this week, I am trying a new connection um, dynamic for my computer. So if you notice a little difference in uh, quality this week, uh, it's a bit of troubleshooting happening on 
on this side. So you, we will, we will see how it goes. Uh, we get to determine today: is this the way we want to go, or do I need to tweak it some more? Um, yeah. See, Doobie's messy, so this plush mug wrap um, would not be a, a, a good idea for for him. So yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, I mean. Yeah, I see what I see what you're saying. I'm not saying that I'm not about Doobie, but I'm yes, I'm the same way with with like, yeah, yeah, I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think about that. You don't want to use a straw for a mug, right? Like you're going to put a hot beverage in there. You're not drinking anything out of a, a straw. So, <laughs> you know, it's a you throw it in the wash. But I suppose you could put candy in there. We've got a mug that's full of little dove chocolates. So you could you could do that. <laughs> They've got uh, some characters whose names are not coming to mind, Becca, on this plush. Oh, area. this is this is Ducky and Bunny from um, from Toy Story Four. I was yeah, maybe it's a little work. obscure. <laughs> No, I was just trying to make it more complicated. I'm like, their names have to be something other than just the critters they were. But no, it's Ducky and oh, Bunny. Very... And there's a... a throw pillow. Buttercup, the uh, unicorn. It's an interesting shaped pillow. I'm kind of fun that they went with the with the face. <laughs> yeah. And if you looked at my face just then, you'd see, hey, my computer's decided not to do anything. Oh, in no. This it's okay. It's back. And yeah, this is, this is a cute hoodie. Um, again, you know, we've got fun stuff for the kids. I'm seeing like Mike, or I mean, Sully, like while it's definitely a Toy Story or a Buttercup uh, hoodie, the polka dots reminds me of, um, of course, of Sully. And it looks like Bing Bong on another one of the fuzzy palms. So, oh, wow. Oh, kind okay. of representing so kind of at a least Pixar. Yeah, our universe uh, blanket there. Oh yeah, fuzzy, fuzzy Pixar fun. It they are calling it, and I can, I can see where you're uh, getting a variety of characters of yeah. available um, within that. Um, our site, our web editor. Oh, let me try this again. Our managing editor here at Labbing Place, Kyle and I were uh, texting each other this morning over this story from Lego. It's the Brickhead set that's celebrating the hundredth. Wow, who do we have here? We have, well, you can see from uh, left to right, at least my left to right, yeah, all of you will have the same one. We've got uh, Snow White, we've got Mickey Mouse as Steamboat Willie, we have Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, and Tinkerbell, which I think it's a fun, fun nod to Disney animation and a great way to kick off the celebration for, at least for Lego. What do you think? Yeah. I like it. Now, the reason that Kyle and I were texting each other over this this morning, and I'm sure he shared it with you too, was that for a long time, I think it was on the Lego site, the Tinkerbell was referred to as the first official mascot of Legoland. Yes. <laughs> no, we really were. <laughs> well, they had Mickey Mouse as the first animated character after saying that Oswald was Disney's first character. So I sent it to Kyle. I was like, I know this is not correct. What should I say about Mickey instead? Like, even in animation history, he's not like the, it's not the first speaking character, nothing. But I thought, well, maybe she did have something to do with Legoland, you know, the little brick figure or something, maybe. But uh, he's it's like, no, that's insane. not true. I was like, okay. I, yeah. I, yeah, but they finally fixed it. So we're like, oh, but I could totally see because I do it all the time where you're yeah. typing something. And if you're just used to typing Legoland, Legoland, even if you're talking Disney, you're going to type Legoland. So oh, for sure. Simple <laughs> mistake, but it provided us a little bit of fun around the office today. For sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, hey, jump down to the bottom of the page on this. These are some uh, collectible um, figure sets that are coming from Beast Kingdom. Mm hmm yeah, these are, I think these are really cool. These are dimensional figures. Um, they're, I think like, I don't remember the dimensions right now, but it's a 3D figure and it's like the postage stamp frame that is a nod to, there we go. Yeah, thank you. You're it's welcome. in centi centimeters, I think, but uh, yeah, like four to six inches uh, full size there. And a nice nod to Disney 100 and to several or to four, at least four movies uh, throughout Disney's history. I love how 
detailed and colored, like colorful they are. Yeah, it's nice with the um with the backgrounds that they have here. Like you have the sketched um like a scene from the film mm -hmm. on the on the back postage stamp there. Similarly with um Lady and the Tramp, you have a like a a moment from the film background pulled up behind behind them, and then you have the characters dimensionally um realized with these. So those are available um from uh beast kingdom and um our friends at entertainment earth yep actually a couple of other retailers and i'm seeing beast kingdom they're pre-ordered now beast kingdom says they're shipping in may and then some of the other sites up to october so summer or october so they're pro it's probably one of these more of a create on demand type thing so if they get you know Betcha. 16,000 orders for something, then they'll they'll be distributing those that way instead of mass producing them and trying to uh, trying to sell them. If that makes sense. Um, yeah. Next up, we're continuing with a look back at some um, collaborations that are happening in the uh, celebration of Disney 100. We've got Oswald popping up in the Givenchy brand by the way i learned that you pronounce that g as like a z h z -H -G -G -G. okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> Je -ben -che, you know kind Je -ben -che. of kind of thing or maybe <laughs> Je -ben -che. i can't remember if it's an e at the end or not but i did but i did learn today that you uh it's a it's not pronounced with a, a g sound so they had this um little animated um commercial uh, pop up a, a few weeks ago. I know we shared it mm -hmm. on Laughing Place. And um, with that came a new uh, collection over at the House of Givenchy. Yes, I, I am not into high fashion, as you all know, <laughs> as you all see, <laughs> I am not into high fashion. I love this collection. I, I'm just impressed by what they chose to feature. It's, it's fun. And it's not weird because you know sometimes they'll do like obscure things with the characters but this just feels very I don't know I don't want to say pure that's not the right word but it's just like as original as the character is and it's way too much for my wallet but I I love how this looks and just to give you a sense um the stunning uh sweater uh hoodie uh, here is a, a simple uh, 1820. By the way, it's sold out. Yeah, so and I think that you're wondering. <laughs> yes, I know that was that's like if I had a wish list, and that's Hortensia. I think that's great that we've got an Hortensia incorporated in this collection as well. But yeah, there little crop top for I think four or five hundred dollars. Jeans I think are I. Don't remember the price on those, but I remember know. that the jacket's first digit was a three, and it was yes. three other digits after it. Yes. So, yeah, not not <laughs> uh, not something that's going on on my shopping list, but really stunning. And if it's on your shopping list, let us know what yes. you think because they they look. Do they did they you know, do they look as stunning in person? Are they as comfortable as they look? Because they I I really like the the collection. Like I say, just not not my budget. <laughs> And that pink bag, which it says it's an online exclusive, but it also, when you click on the link, it says notify me. I'm not a fan of pink. Like pink's not my first color choice. And like I was saying, not into the high fashion, but I love this bag. And even Kyle was like, wow, yeah, that, if you were going to get anything from the collection, that would be, that would be the item. Oh, wow. They caught your eye with that. Okay. Yes, they did. So. So yeah, so some really amazing, um, amazing and interesting uh, looks here. I know, Becca, you you told me these uh, shorts uh, with the bandana look are uh, are fa are fascinating to you. Yeah, they yeah, I it, it, it's so creative, like not not something that I would come up with on my own. But yeah. now I'm like, oh, well, maybe I can make my own shorts out of bandanas because I, I saw it by. <laughs> I like it. I like the way they use the the edge for the yes. um of him running yes nice nice uh i'm using very high tech um fashion terms here oh okay. yeah me too <laughs> yeah. So, there, so there you go um, so <laughs> over at entertainment earth there's a lot of uh sales going on becca's mm -hmm. gathered up 
a few items for you. Uh, we're looking at 70% off things like uh, Scooter and Rolf in the best of Muppets. We've got some mirror burst figures. Yep. There's just a, a wide variety um, of items, even some Funko. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Yep, we got Ms. Marvel there in her homemade costume before she gets her official one. That's one of the WDW 50 pops that came out last year. So if you're trying to finish the collection or start a collection, yeah, these are, a lot of items are discounted up to 70% off and um, this and is all in stock items. So you can also use our code for extra 10% off. <laughs> and this sale is listed as, um, through January 10th. Yes. So um, be sure to check up, check out the roundup we've got and see uh, some of the items and then journey on over to Entertainment Earth. Maybe there's something um, that we didn't share, maybe something outside the world of Disney um, that would catch, catch your eye. But our Disney uh, related items are gathered there. Over at Target, there's some new Funkos on the way. Yep, this is going to be a massive scene. We've seen them do this a couple times. Funko's done this a couple times. Uh, we're, we got the final battle from Spider-Man No Way Home, and they'll be releasing uh, two characters at a time. So these are pre-orders. We've got the lizard there, and then, uh, yeah, and Spider-Man. They're fighting up there around the Statue of Liberty. Uh, and we'll be they'll be releasing the next two or opening pre-orders on January uh, 30th. So we'll be bringing you updates throughout the run of this series. This is part of the Target Con 2023. Um, they're a little bit bigger than the regular Funko Pops. These are bobbleheads and they come to about eight inches high overall. And then they're gonna carry a little bit uh, higher price. These are about $29.99 each, so. Okay, yeah. and you can learn more about those over here on Laughing Place. We'll have the links uh, below, continuing with Marvel, Roosevelt's flannel celebrating Marvel heroes. Yeah, or heroes in quotes, because yeah. sometimes Scarlet Witch and Loki aren't always the as heroic <laughs> as they as they could be. But we got, <laughs> but yeah, I we've we've got uh, Black Panther there, and I love the simplicity of these shirts. There's a little bit of magic, of course, going on the side there with the character. And then under the collar, they have a fun little print, a nod to each character. So um, I'm wearing my Roosevelt's Chucky flannel that we that we purchased. Uh, it's a two-way, it's Borland Flex is what it's called, two-way stretch and uh, very comfortable. I, lo I love it. So we're debating whether or not we should add a couple more to our... <laughs> collection so these have more give than mm -hmm. you're um used to with a um a flannel shirt because they're kind of that uh they got that uh special what they call the borland flexes as becca pointed out and that's what been one of the nice things we've seen um with uh fan attire is that they are moving into these nicer uh fabric styles um not you know not just kind of sticking with the very stiff uh <laughs> <laughs> button ups or or flannels um so yeah i'm this i love the 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 collar nods i yes. i agree with you that's neat where it's like just real simple screen I, it's screened on the side i believe i couldn't find a description but i'm i'm guessing it's screened this uh scarlet witch down there is it yeah um, i would i would say that yeah, yeah. that's what and, you've got and then you've got the more detail of uh, underneath the collar there. Yeah, exactly, Geo. They're only heroes depending on, <laughs> on on their on their mood. I was just in that superhero and I dropped the word super. So you know. Okay. Um, <laughs> jumping over to the world of Star Wars Funko Valentine's mm -hmm. Day. Um, these are some adorable pops. I had fun terrorizing Mike Celestino with these because he is um he prefers his Star Wars uh, merchandise to be a, uh, movie accurate. So uh, yeah. Okay, so, so the, he's not into any of these other collections. Okay, did no. he like the Wampa Build a Bear with the removable yeah. arm? Oh, I haven't noted <laughs> that yet. I, I, I have to find out because uh, the question I asked him was if, if it was early on in the, if, if, you know, he's married now. And I asked him if it had been very early on in the relationship, would a gift like this have been 
well received or a warning sign like you just totally don't get it <laughs> so it was a fun fun discussion we had uh during star wars headlines but the thing i noticed about these that's sweet is along the base they have um sayings uh related to the season so for uh bb8 it, i, I want to say it says um, will you BB8 mine <laughs> kind of silliness or BB mine? I think it says BB mine. And then um, uh, Leia's uh, asks you to be my nerf herder. Aw. And I, that, I, 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 fun. I love that. And yes, Geo, they did have um, very pink and, and red uh, uh, Funko items. I believe they were uh, several different characters. Um, featured. I'm pretty sure BB-8 was still among it, but I want to say we saw a Funko, we saw a Valentine Yoda. I, mm -hmm. I we like. definitely I, had a Valentine. Yeah. Yeah. Luke Skywalker, Ahsoka Tano, um, I think maybe even a Boba Fett, some Stormtroopers. I think this is actually the third year they've done this. So, okay. so there's, if you go back and look, there's probably a couple other uh, characters that you can add to your collection. Awesome. Okay, with that, we now come to this week's uh, Sensational Seven. And it's National Straw Day. And because of that fact, I opted uh, to do a list of reusable items that one might use um, during lunch. This is a list of seven items loosely inspired um, by the seven dwarfs and some random theme. And like I say, today's theme, reusable items. In this case, it is a straw lid that comes with your water bottle from Simply Modern. I uh, am highlighting the Lion King. I think of Simba as being a dreamer with that just can't wait to be king. So this links into my thoughts on Sleepy, you know, because he's a, he's a dreamer too. Happy would have chosen a uh, tumbler with his favorite princess. Here she is amongst flowers with a bluebird happily singing on her finger. I think my husband would like this. He's a big Snow White fan. This feels like a tumbler Doobie would want in his collection. Uh, hi, Rising Moons, Mike Farnham. How you doing? Sleepy, happy, grumpy. We're going with the emotion filled, turning red. Mm -hmm. uh, this uh, is a utensil set. It comes with a nice little case. You've got some uh, chopsticks. You've got a reusable straw with a, a, a brush that will allow you to clean it. My sister carries around a straw because she lives in the land of theme parks where there's a lot of paper straws that just don't hold up. And so she now carries a, a silicon straw um, with her to battle uh, that uh, trauma of the paper straw collapsing and ruining your dreams. Yes, it definitely, yeah. By the way, secret tip, be sure, like Joffrey's, they have amazing reusable straws. If you're at Disney, Joffrey's, get your drink at Joffrey's, enjoy your straw, and maybe grab a second straw. <laughs> Use that one when you're trying to drink something elsewhere because it's a good good re, uh, dispo disposable, reusable, re recyclable straw style. It doesn't fall apart as quickly as the, the paper ones that are uh, found in other eating locations around the parts. Uh, let's see, moving on to Dopey. He's a character who doesn't speak. So I opted for another character who doesn't speak and that would be Baby Yoda, Grogu. In this case, these are some reusable snack bags. These are over at Amazon. They have other Disney related styles. So if you're looking for a fun way to keep your items fresh and uh, not uh, use these Ziploc bags, uh, check out Simply Modern's reusable snack bags over on Amazon. Sleepy, happy, grumpy, dopey, sneezy. Do you know, they don't really sell handkerchiefs anymore. I had a hard time. I thought this was going to be easy. I'm like, I'm just going to use a handkerchief because, right, instead of Kleenex. Mm-hmm. Right, I'm thinking what's disposable in the world of, of sneezy? That'd be tissues. So instead, <laughs> we would use a, yeah. a you know a handkerchief. And I had a really tough find, time finding one, but I did ultimately find what they call a silk pocket square over on Shop at Disney. It's pink and purple. It's got little um, Mickey heads. See, that's what Tony Betty knows. Eco guava. 
over at Joffrey's. Earth friendly. That's the word. Earth friendly. Oh, they're so good. I love them. I love those straws at Joffrey's. Okay. <laughs> um, now all of a sudden I can taste a shaken Jamaican, right? Right, Joe? Yeah, right. <laughs> so they're with me with the shaken Jamaican. Uh, sleepy, happy, grumpy, dopey, sneezy, bashful. We're going with a lunchbox. It's die cut. It's shaped like Buzz Lightyear. It's not real, you know, just totally out there, right? Might be a little bit more subtle. I think of, of bashful on the more subtle side if you've been following my lists here. And once again, this is a, a, a way to bring items to and from that's uh, easy to throw into your uh washing machine dishwasher ooh yeah dishwasher uh to keep things clean <laughs> i agree I, I don't i don't disagree kyle um, and finally really reaching out there doc i went with this chemistry set it includes a paper straw for your fun experiments but i've had fun with these gideon and i have had the opportunity to uh, uh play around with a couple of the national uh geographic uh sets that they've offered on shop disney and we we've enjoyed them they do they do a really nice job of kind of informing you along with whatever activities you're participating in and most almost all of the ingredients are there not always all but we made a um one of the kits we bought was actually a um we were given was actually a volcano kit and you used um uh, plaster of Paris and made a volcano and then you could paint it or not paint it and then you could put all the stuff inside and then it would erupt you know and you would learn all about chemical reactions and in the little booklet they included that volcano we still have that little plaster volcano it it held up through through that through that experiment and we could reload it use it again mm -hmm. it's just it's just here around so I you know I was I was surprised it wasn't uh you know, just kind of a, a, a one and, and done in that in that circumstance. So let's see, Becca, now that we've made it through um, the that I have a shopping list from you to share. Let me try and get this work in over here. Do, do, do. One more time. No, you're good. You're good. <laughs> oh, it's coming. Okay, everybody, here it Yay. is. <laughs> All right. Well, we have the Walt Disney World 50th Grand Finale Collection has started to arrive on Shop Disney. Also on Shop Disney, and we'll talk about this more in the coming weeks, uh, they launched Pintastic Tuesdays. So there will be new pin releases every Tuesday at 7 a.m. Pacific on Shop Disney. And the first couple are here. Um, there's a Donald and Daisy, Dooney and Burke coming soon. Uh, I'm sure we'll be talking about that, but uh, the little image they shared is really cute. It looks like there will be three bag styles. Uh, Run Disney, Walt Disney World Marathon is back, and we've got some retro 90s collections that were previewed. Um, over at Entertainment Earth, they have a whole bunch of toys from Mattel, so Disney princess fashion dolls and then princess play sets, variety of doll sizes for kids of all ages. They also have some new Disney Lego and Duplo sets as well. Those are super, super cute. Before um, you continue with your, I'm going to interrupt yes. you real quick because I realized I skipped over something. Oh, Last, yes. recently, Becca and I talked about the House of Sayaj um, perfumes. We did. And how much we, uh, in, how much I enjoyed them at D23 and some of the new items that were coming out. And they actually, they saw us. And they sent us a, a, a gift, and and they eat. They sent us each one. I, yes. I they're so generous. I, I I can't believe it. Um, and uh, I just wanted to share with you all what 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 I received because it really is stunning. This is the um the the package, the box package. Um, and then when That's you open big. it, yeah. Well, no. And then this drops out like a little, like a little drawer to to unveil the fragrance. So let me take the, the the package off the top. Look at that. And it you can't, the sparkle, my camera doesn't pick up the sparkle well, which is so disappointing because the crystals on here, they really shine. It is, it is super stunning and, and beautiful. And um the the fragrance itself is in this lower portion of the cupcake. Oh wow. 
And so then you have the beautiful um, Mickey ears with the sparkle for the top portion. On the top, it says the House of Sayage. I, I think the L is pronounced like a Y, like, you know, like, yeah, you know, like yeah. Okay. Um, so uh, there you go on the inside, too. Just really, really pretty. It's one of those things where it's like you can see where the elegance comes in with yes. the with the price and it's a fragrance it's a really um it's a nice winter fragrance i typically have purchased over the years things that are more sweet or floral and this one is a kind of a, like a, a, a more of a citrus um the the um it has some notes of um orange blossom which was in my wedding bouquet and we just spe celebrated our 25th anniversary so the fact that this was part of the the fragrance in this it was part of the reason why you know this one had caught my caught my nose so to speak <laughs> um, um at the d23 expo but just really really stunning um, and I want to thank them so much because yeah, this was this was quite a quite a lovely surprise. And I know Becca, you're gonna be sharing yes. one next week. I'll leave it as a surprise to everyone um what's on the way to Becca so we can we can talk about it. But uh tremendous fragrance, really, really beautiful. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. Thank you. And uh Yes, yeah. Right. Br Brittany and Stella were the ones who reached out to us. And yeah. it was we got the email and I was I was blown away. You and I were immediately like, we need to talk about this. Can you believe this? And just to, and to, and for those of you who have been considering it right now, it's still part of their like end of year, beginning of the new year. Um this particular um fragrance is part of the sale offerings that they do they do have over there. So um please look. I know Becca will have a link um in in the uh, description below so that you can find your way over over to uh their fragrance house as well um with that becca i will let you get back to the shop <laughs> no you're good uh beast kingdom is also doing these incredible 40 inch tall statues or high figurines but i think they're going to be again made to order because these carry like an eight thousand seven thousand dollar price tag mm -hmm. so if you want one you need to you need to reach out to them but they do have they do have images on the website and they're really really beautiful there's four of them total uh, we also have some new year of the rabbit merchandise that popped up at the disney parks i believe uh, luke put that article together for us and then there's some lounge fly pre-orders at entertainment earth um brave little taylor fox and the hound and then you also have um uh Princess and the Frog and some Star Wars. So really, really interesting selections for the start of the year. So lots of fun stuff. Very cool. Thank you, Becca. Thank um, you. Geo's pointing out that Disney Trivia Live tonight at 730 has The Price is Right and The Price is Wrong. And I believe we have a discussion following us of Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Ooh. I think that is also happening right here um, on Laughing Place. So be sure to stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, I guess with that, this week's edition of Verily Necessities is done. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. We greatly appreciate it. We look forward to sharing a lot of fun with you as Disney celebrates 100 years this, uh, yeah, see, this year. Okay. So we've got uh, a lot of uh, merchandise, I'm sure, around the corner, and uh, we look forward to sharing it with all of you. See you next week right here, Tuesdays, 4 o'clock. We're Barely Necessities. I'm Rebecca. She's Rebecca. <laughs> You'll see us next time. Bye. Bye.